Hi guys, Paul Jurassic Rambler here. Hope everyone is well. Today I'm in the South Wales in the Brecon Beacons and I'm going to send Penny Fan. Um, I'm not going the normal route up from the Ponto Death car park. I'm going to head up via um, the south side, away from the crowds because there's so many people here today. So why don't you come along and join me? there and just follow this road all the way around and we're off the lanes and we're just here just here now okay so we're gonna head up wherever that is in welsh to penny fan we'll go across to cribbin funny big take this down corn do i'm gonna say probably camp there that way <laughs> So, finally made it up to the top of Penny Fan. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of people here. Everyone queuing up to get their pictures taken on the top. Uh, over there you see is Corn Dew. Um, I'm following the path over there is I think the one that goes down to the car park where I stayed last night. We, it's, uh, about half two, quarter three. So I've done about 18 kilometers up to now. And it's been pretty tough actually. Struggled up, a few of the big pulls up, but slowly and surely you get there. So just leaving Fanny Big. And then we're gonna head back down and go across to, back up to, to um, Penny Fan, which is over there, it's beautiful. Um, the weather's glorious, um, not too hot, not too cold, um, but yeah, not too bad. It's uh, certainly a bit of a long buster today, plenty of people out, as you would expect in this good weather, um, and I, I think the Brecons are gorgeous, really, really pretty, so we'll definitely come back here, I think. Anyway, I'll sign off for now. So by the time I'd reached the top of Corn Deer, I was really ill. I'd already vomited and suffered <laughs> a bout of stomach up, shall we say. So I then decided to head down to the, the lake at the bottom to set up camp for the night. I have arrived. I decided to stay. 
even though I've not been too good. Um, this is the spot I planned to stay at, um, which is down the lake, which if you turn around, you can see the views I've got. So that is, um, oops, where are we? That is Corn Bridge. I crossed it. There is Penny Fan. So there's quite a few people here actually um, for the sunset and um, a couple camping. I just spoke to a guy over there. I think he's staying for the sunset. Uh, there's a guy there. There's a couple of kids. Um, but it's quite a peaceful spot. The lake looks lovely. However, I have been told that it's full of leeches. It's known as Leached Lake. So I think I might just dip my toes in and I don't think I'll go for a swim. Uh, which is a pity because I could do with one. But it's a beautiful spot. I'm just going to sit down, have 10 minutes before I get the tent up. And get some food on and, and a well, well deserved beer. So tonight in the the North Tent Van 1, which is the new tent. You check out my other video. First impressions, this is first use of it. So I've pitched it. Um, literally five minutes it took to pitch. Probably do it a lot quicker. I haven't bothered with the guys tonight. It's pretty mild actually. Not too much wind, so I think we should be okay. Uh, but yeah, lovely. Let's check it out tonight. Right, let's get everything else in. Uh, Let's get a beer, sort of food, I think. Food is a chicken tikka and rice. It's one of them babies there. It's a bit of chill, actually. Um, I don't know whether this is a sensible thing to eat after today, but um, we shall see. We shall see. The brew dog, Hazy, Hazy Jane. I can see that. That's gone down nice. I've got another one over there. Um, yeah, it's all settled now. Got everything out. Let's have a bit of tent talk, eh, while uh, my meal's cooking. Um, today's been horrendous. <laughs> um, I'm glad I'm here. Um, as I said before, I, um, I was basically sick in both. Well, it would come out that way and it come out the other way as well. So it wasn't particularly pleasant. Up on the top, I managed to find somewhere <laughs> a bit quiet. Um, but it's been a weird one today because I've really struggled with energy. Um, I felt it from even the first hour, first hour and a half, even going along the flats, I felt lethargic. I um, don't know what that's with. I did have something to eat last night in the pub. I don't know whether something there is maybe disagreed we well certainly worked its way through anyway later on um but i was pretty low before and i was almost at the point of heading down to the car and driving back or sleeping in the van tonight but i uh, i soldiered on and i'm glad i did because i'm in a really nice spot there's a few people around the lake there's one you can see about four one two three four about five tents up there i don't think everyone's staying for the whole night i think people are just staying for the the sunset um, there's lots of midges around actually, which isn't particularly nice. Um, but yeah, one of those days, but push through it. I did um, sort of 25 kilometers in the end, and, and the fact that I went up Penny Van twice is, didn't, didn't plan that one particularly well. The second time killed me, <laughs> but all good. It was a good day's walk. Um, I enjoyed it. I love the Brecon Beacons, it's definitely a place I'll come back to. Um, definitely do some more walking around here, just love it. I think it's beautiful, really, really nice. Beautiful scenery, and um, this is a great camp spot. Um, so check that one out. It's just the bottom of uh, Corn Dew. There's a little lake. It's known as Leech Lake, funny enough, because apparently there's so many leeches in there and they say don't go swimming too, <laughs> too much in there. Just dip your toes because these leeches are everywhere. So uh, even a couple of guys as, as I was walking down before, they were in the water and I think they said they, they'd had one on them already. So yeah, so uh, it's a pity because <laughs> I was really looking forward to having a, a jump in the water and uh, cooling down. But 
hey ho, probably not a good thing to do. Anyway, it's um, just gone seven o'clock now, 10 past seven. Um, so yeah, good day, apart from the obvious that I've mentioned. Um, so I'm just gonna enjoy my uh, food. I've got another Hazy Jane brew dog to finish off. Let's have everything set up. I think I'll sleep tonight. Um, there is a penny fans up, up that way over there, but there is a, a what's known as the Tenny fan, um, which apparently is some um, annual event where they go up penny fan runners, I assume, 10 times within 12 hours or 24 hours. It's one of those mad, you know, sort of, uh, what do you call them? Those mad endurance things and whatever. So, um, so yeah, that's going on. Um, but yeah, apart from that, all good. Um, catch you later. Well, hats off Mr. Wayfair. That chicken tikka and rice is delicious. Uh, this one might, might could be my new favourite from Mr. Wayfair, isn't it? Uh, let's do a bit of map time, hey? So I'll probably just show you the route we've taken today. Um, so we started off here at the National Trust car park, which is um, Pona, Ponta Daff, Ponta Daff. Um, and then we followed the road up, A470. And at this point I cut off, you can go up to Egan there, which a few people were doing, but I basically followed the Taff Trail. Um, so this was a nice path, nice path, easy going, nice to get the legs going. Um, and then we got all the way, let's see up there, we got all the way there, we kept going. This bit wasn't so nice because it was it was a bit on like roads and stuff and it was a bit boring, but um, but anyway, it was about an hour on the road, I think, but we went through there. Let's turn the map over. And then let's just pick it up again. So, we, yeah, there we go. So we went, uh, we, there we go. So we carried on through this road here, did a junction there, come off, and then this is where we hit the other car park. And I basically went up here, and then we basically followed the path all the way up to Penny Fan. Um, I found it tough going. I think this is where I realised it wasn't too good. Um, so I was really struggling. Um, but from, stopped the Penny Fan. Um, what did I do then? Yeah, I didn't go to Corn Do. I come off Penny Fan. Um, and I followed it. We went up to Cribbon, which I think I mistakenly called um, Fanny Big. Um, so come off Cribbon all the way down to here. This was Fanny Big. Um, come back here, and then I took this path here, so also to come back, which was Beacon's Way. Um, and and this is where I took Hill, <laughs> just round there somewhere. <laughs> I wouldn't go there. Um, yeah, so it was somewhere just just round about just round about there. I think it was. So what I decided to do then was was cut across. So I, I just went across the ground. Um, so I went up the hill here a bit, picked up this little last path up to Corn Dew. And then from Corn Dew, I basically descended Corn Dew, followed it round, and basically I'd come back down. And this is where I'm camping now, which is this Clin Coombe cluck which means i don't know what and um, yeah that was the route today
it's uh, just coming up to 20 past 10. Um, obviously, darkness has fallen. Um, I am staying up a little bit because there is talk that we could have another uh, viewing of the Northern Lights tonight. So that would be quite exciting to see. Uh, just me speak to one of the guys in the other tents. Uh, funny enough, he's in the same business as me, uh, which is strange. <clears throat> anyway, um, so yeah, let's. Um, I think it's maybe eleven o'clock onwards. I don't know. I don't know when they come along. Uh, one of the guys was telling me that sometimes it's um, it's hard to visually see them. The eyes take a while to get uh, uh, used to it, but it's a lot. It, the camera picks it up a lot quicker, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, anyway, um, let's wait and see, see if we get some northern lights. Um, feeling a lot better uh, than before when I first arrived. I've had some food inside me. Uh, definitely feel my uh, <laughs> my inner work is a better. Um, so probably too much detail. Um, so yeah, um, I've been taking some some shots of um, any fan. Um, the top there there's lots of lights on the top so it's so obviously people up there for um maybe the northern lights again i know there's a lot of people up there last night um so and i still think there's that um there, there's a race that's going on through the night as well i believe so but i can still see lots of um lots of headlights that are switched on um torch lamps so the everything's settled now uh, this is quite a good spot, actually, because there's not, not too much wind coming through. Uh, but obviously, the first time I've used the, the Nord Tens VM1. Really happy with it. What I've seen so far looks, yeah, good, perfect size. I think that's the, the beauty of it for me is that, as I said in my previous video, it sort of goes between a one and a two man tent. It's almost like a one and a half man tent, and that's a sweet spot for me. Anyway, so guys, I'm going to. Um, call it a night i think in terms of filming um and i will see you later nice sleep um a lot of noisy two guys down the other side of the lake were incredibly noisy i don't even know they went to sleep actually um i didn't get up to see if there was any northern lights so um yeah but as it was always camping i don't tend to have good sleep or just cat naps um i don't mind it though i still wake up beautiful beautiful crisp clear mornings lovely out there really nice that's so just gone which is 20 past five, actually. I think I might have another five minutes. So it's been a really good camp. I think it's been good. One is um, try out the new tents, which is always nice trying out new bits of kit, albeit it's not really, you know, it's, it'll come more into its own. I think as we move into the, into the winter, the rest of the, the end of the year. But it was good speaking to... A um, couple of people out and about. Um, this is a very, very popular <laughs> area. Um, so many people come out. It's 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 almost like snowed, and I think you know there's busloads of people coming up to the top, and everyone's queuing to get their picture taken on the penny fan summit with the the altitude. So it does feel a little bit like that. And I think that's probably why, perhaps, when you're camping here now, you've got and I'm not being snobby of that but you've got guys there who perhaps don't you know respect that you know it's sometimes people go for a camp like this just to, to get away and for, for peace and quiet and they, they're just noisy all night um but yeah it's been good it's as i say it's it's been good to you know i sat here like yesterday for about three hours after i put the tent up just sat on in the, the porch and it went three hours went like that and i was just blissful i had a couple of beers something to eat i read my kindle and i could have been you know a million miles away it was just wonderful to deep foster the brain i wasn't thinking about anything as such it was just to be out in fresh air and not 
worrying about things and stuff like that. So, yeah, really, really good. So, guys, uh, I think I'm going to call it quits for now. I say I just packed up. I don't know if you can see. I was sort of over a bit below that green tent. I was in that uh, flat bit of land that you can see there. So, hopefully you can see that beautiful views of Penny Fan Corn Dew. Um, but yeah, that's me done. Just gone seven. So, I am going to... Oops. So, it's just gone seven. So, I'm just going to sign off now. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. Support always appreciated. And I hope you've enjoyed... This little adventure that I've been on this weekend in the Brecon Beacons. Okay, guys, Paul, Jurassic Rambler, saying, Arrivederci, au revoir, a bientôt. See you soon. Bye. is a memory of uh, in fact I'll just read it out it says this belies marks the spot where the body of Tommy Jones age five was found he lost his way between Cluck Farm and the lock on the night of August the 4th I don't know whether that's 90 I think it's 19 or 18 1900 after an anxious search of 29 days his remains were discovered Erected by voluntary subscriptions. Oh, that's very sad. Oh, well. Rest in peace, Tommy Jones. Any chance of a ride? Oh, beautiful. Are you his friends? I'm going to go do a big shit in my direction.